This video is going to show the limitations of porcelain. Uh, this guy came into our office and he had already had crowns placed uh, many years ago on his front uh, eight teeth and you can tell the premolar on the right side uh, the porcelain has sheared off leaving the underlying zirconia coating or at least the, uh, the substructure. Um, look at these other photos you can see now from the sides uh, as well as the occlusal view. There's some gingival recession around tooth number nine and he didn't like, or he did not like how the teeth had kind of a bulky look to them. They're kind of rounded. He wanted something that was more flat. Uh, so uh, we went ahead and uh, flattened out the teeth, and then uh, kind of give him, a, you know, just kind of find out if this is something that he really wanted to get rid of that bulbous look. And you can tell in this photo we have the original, and then we have them after we've uh, sanded part of the porcelain back and uh, put in some mamelons and just try to give it some more character. And he liked that kind of look. It kind of made the teeth look longer, flatter, uh, and not so rounded. Um, you can take a look now at his x-rays. Um, you know, he had multiple root canals placed. Uh, these kinds of crowns look like they are zirconia uh, understructures with uh, like some kind of feldspathic porcelain over the top. After we took off all the crowns, well, this is what we have. And um, for those of you who are dentists, you kind of appreciate this. For those of you who are not dentists, seeing this, this looks kind of gross, but this is what sometimes we find when we take off work that's been around for quite a while. Uh, sorry, the retraction cord is hanging out of the gum line there on those uh, it's a couple of teeth, especially tooth number nine. But uh, what you can see is just kind of a smattering of different colors of teeth. You can tell the buildup on number 10 is kind of whiter than the rest of them. Uh, the tooth structure on uh, number eight is really dark, and you'll see how that plays out here in a moment. Went ahead then and uh, did our impression and made our temporary, and we did not carry the temp all the way up to the recession uh, recessed area number nine. Just kind of left it where it was. The lab will take care of that. And so we put in his final units, and we actually he wanted them even flatter, so we flattened them out. That's what the top picture shows, and then we polished them. But I think in both of those photos you can see the problem. The problem is where the red circle is. And what we can see is just that dark underlying tooth is shining through. I think after we've thinned down the porcelain, it started to become more noticeable. And so what I'm trying to show in these next series of slides is what is it? Well, let's try to rem remember what that dark underlying tooth looks like. And if I can make those um, crowns more and more translucent and kind of overlay that with the prep, you can see you know, what what's underneath those crowns. And that's basically kind of what what's showing that darkness coming through obviously. So we didn't like it, he didn't like it, we went ahead and slid off, actually we, he wore it for about a month or so and came back and we took off that crown and of course there's that dark tooth again and so what we did is remove the dark stuff not thinking that the lab, or now we know, the lab cannot block that out. So we removed the, uh, the black pigmented part of that uh, enamel or dentin and then built it back up and so that's a much easier job for the lab to match. And so again, if you can compare the before and the after, you can see that it is um, much lighter. So then we went ahead and placed that in, and now that's that's finally the, the finalized case. If we did before, or show the before and the after together, you can see it's not that dramatic of a change. Obviously, we got the premolar in the upper right fixed. The recession uh, area has now been covered up with porcelain. Uh, and he just has a look that he wants uh, that doesn't look so fake. He wanted to avoid the fake look, and so we were able to get that for him, and he's ecstatic about it. So the takeaway message from this video is if you have a dark underlying tooth, don't rely upon the lab being able to block it out. Go ahead and give the lab something that's easier to work with. Cut back a little bit more tooth structure, get rid of the dark stuff, and lay in something lighter, and think the lab's going to have a much more predictable chance of getting the result that you want. Hopefully this video was helpful, and I look forward to your comments below. All right, thanks.